What's up guys, today I have a video explaining how to clean your cleats to make them last longer and look nicer. As you can see, there's a lot of deep scuffs, old dirt stains, and a lot of cleat separation. Today, I'll show you how to fix these problems with things you can find in your house. You'll need a bowl for water, a nail brush, laundry detergent, tape, super glue, an abrasive sponge, and a towel. The first step is filling your bowl with a generous amount of detergent and then mixing it with water. Next, you're going to want to remove your laces and then the insoles inside. As you can see, I picked these up at a thrift store and apparently the previous owner liked to wear Dr. Scholl's insoles in their boots. I honestly don't know how someone can play soccer comfortably with this many turf beads in their cleats. I could tell that these cleats had been through a lot and I didn't want to take any chances, so I put some gloves on. Obviously these are optional. The first and most important tool to use is the nail brush, which you need to dunk in the detergent water mixture before you start scrubbing away. If you don't have one of these at home, you can pick them up at basically any dollar store. I get mine at the Dollar Tree, uh, it comes in like a two pack. I found the most effective way to scrub is in a circular motion. The more bubbles you make, the better. In between scrubs, you want to wipe your cleats down with a towel so that it absorbs any of the dirt or mud that you brought to the surface. Next, you treat the interior basically the same as the exterior. As you can see, these cleats released in January of 2011, almost a decade old. Next, I scrub the bottom of the boots using the same circular motion. After the first pass, the cleats will usually be clean, but since these are so old and beat, I decided to give it another scrub this time with my sponge. This will help get rid of the tough deeper stains and scuffs which are more prominent on leather boots. The next thing to tackle was the sole separation. The first step I took was cleaning out the holes to make sure there wasn't any turf beads, dirt or grass lodged inside.
this step is optional, I decided to give it a try. The idea is to tape the area of the upper that you don't want to get glue on so that it doesn't mess with the colors or anything. I actually ended up taking the tape off and just being careful where I put the glue. The tape was just getting too much in the way. I noticed that the glue adheres best if you apply it on both sides before holding it together. So basically the simple process I took was putting the glue in the hole and then holding it shut until it dried. Once that was finished, I stuffed the cleats with newspaper so that there would continue to be pressure pushing on the fresh glue. Then came the insoles, and you guessed it, you used the same scrubbing method on those as well. These laces were absolutely filthy. I even used fresh detergent and water for them, and it basically turned it black. The best method I've found is repeatedly soaking and squeezing and scrubbing them between your hands. Since I realized how dirty they were, I dunked them straight into some detergent to speed up the process. Once that was all finished and everything was dry, it was time to lace them back up. What's up everybody? So, just made it to the park. I'm gonna test out these cleats, see if they're gonna hold up and see how they do. So, yeah. Pretty good sesh. These cleats are actually amazing. Um, I miss playing with real leather boots like this. It just throws me back to like when I was little. This is all we used to use. As you can see, the super glue method works. So yeah, I recommend using it if you're having cleat separation or you just want to make your cleats last longer. Do it. What's up everybody? So it's the next day obviously. Yeah, so I cleaned these in this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. 
who are trying to clean your cleats. I'll probably get a bunch of comments of people being like, oh, I just put it in the washer and then call it a day. I don't like putting it in the washer and obviously just having it banging around all over the place can't be good for it. So I just wash it by hand and they last for a very long time. I brought these out to show you guys that they work on super fly material as well. So if you want to clean um, your super fly boots, definitely works on those, not just leather or synthetic. Uh, let me know if you want to see more soccer videos because I've played soccer since I was very little. It's my favorite sport and I love it and I have a lot of friends that play it. So we could definitely make some videos if you guys are interested. Make your boots last longer because they are very expensive these days. Um, it's actually insane. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Stay safe out there. I know stuff is crazy right now, but yeah, peace.